Hi everyone, I'm Serge Chapman and I'd like to be your president of the Society for next year. Um, the role as advertised is representing students, leading the executive committee and above all serving the JCR. Um, it's a pretty abstract description, I don't think it necessarily reflects the importance of the role. Um, however, my experience, I believe, sets me as the best candidate to be your president. Um, in terms of leading, I've held positions throughout the JCR throughout the years here. Um, I've sat on exec under two presidents, one of which has been very supportive and one of which has not. So I know the difference it makes to have a president back you and really be there to support you. Um, if I was elected to be president, I would promise that I would be there to support any student officer, be they exec, be they publicity officer for the netball team, whatever. I want to be there. Um, I've invested a lot of time in the JCR and I've got a lot back from it. Uh, I want any student that comes here to be able to do exactly the same thing. Um, I also want to lead by example. Um, I believe that I can encourage people to be involved purely by being the, the most involved I can be. I want to be an involved president. It means when it comes around to handing out winter ball tickets, uh, cataloguing the library, um, counting the pool money uh, with the treasurer, I want to be there doing that, showing that you can get involved in so many ways and every little bit of experience is really useful. Um, uh, push, I'll join sports teams, but I've got terrible at high night coordination, so... Um, you also need representing. It might sound fairly easy and wishy-washy, but it's not. You have to reply to 50, 40 emails a day, perhaps go to three different meetings, have to prepare for all these meetings, uh, and then when you come back, all you've got to look forward to is writing up minutes. Um, that can be quite draining, meaning you're not representing fully. I've got the energy and enthusiasm to do all that dull stuff. Uh, I get off of governance. Um, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, my week, my week this week, I'm running this campaign, uh, I'm doing a Live Us Out event, I'm trying to publicise a crack ass event, I've got a 3,000 word summary to do for tomorrow which I haven't written, and I've got a presentation um, for my dissertation which I also haven't done, so um, but you can tell where my priorities lie. <laughs> um, I also feel like I represent you well because I'm very familiar with all the staff, uh, I get on very well with them. Um, really, they're here to work for students. They could work anywhere else they want and probably be paid a little bit more. Um, but they're here to work for you. And so we only need to ask in the most courteous way and we'll get what we want. Um, I think we need cheaper laundry facilities, so I'd love to speak to Chris and Sue about when the contract's up uh, and just change it to a different contractor. Um, I believe we need more input in the bar uh, as what it does, what, what kind of facilities it provides with us. Again, speak with Dan and whoever the bar steward is next year. Um, food times might not be working for you, or a variety of food might not be good enough. Again, organising food con with Dawn Purdy would be really easy. I've got a great relationship with her. Representing your students here is quite difficult because they're a very diverse community. We've got a lot of people and a lot of different aims. Um, I want everyone to feel they've got a voice, so I'd like to hold weekly drop-ins, similar to the welfare drop-ins, with me and another exec member rotating throughout the term, so you can come weekly, voice opinions directly to someone. Um, that way you're actually going to get something out of it, something that you want. Um, cliche, but you get out what you put in, strong believer in that. Um, I like it so anyone that can, comes here can really put their stamp on cast and feel proud of something they've done here. Um, when freshers come in, they ought to have the best opportunities of any college. Um, I want to achieve this by showing the importance of roles, so we have a who's who section on the website, um, whatever position you hold, be it in the sports or society's way, in the JCR way, you've got your, your picture up there, you've got your own little section, your aims for the year, what you're about. People will be able to see that, engage with you, uh, and you get a bit of recognition. When, um, when you put on your CV that you've done this, employers will search for it, that's one of the first things that comes up. Um, awards. We already give out uh, honorary life memberships and Delisle Booth awards for people that have given a lot to the JCR throughout their time here. Uh, I want to give awards to the first and second years who maybe contribute just in that one year, not just the graduating students. Um, equally, we're moving towards more academic society, surprisingly, um, so we also recognise the academic achievements of our students, people that really want to put something in, in a studious sense. Uh, we've got research talks going on, um, language tables, we ought to really raise the profile of these people that contribute in this way. Um, again, I mentioned HLMs and DLBs, I want them in, on the bar wall, so everyone can see them, so everyone can aspire to be the people that have given so much they get their name on the wall. Equally, those people that have given so much that they got their name on the wall, um, they'll really, really feel a sense of ownership of the place, they'll come back. The people that are involved will want to stay involved. Um, which leads me on to alumni. 
Um, I want alumni to feel part of CUTS as much as anyone here. Um, they have so much to offer the current students and they've got a lot to gain by maintaining friendships. Um, they've got the experience to offer you um, a lot of job opportunities and just, you know, life help. Um, they will come back, they do SDP, SDEP programs, career talks, if they felt involved. Uh, to this aim, I want to speak to Mark Rowland, who is uh, head of the Alumni Association, uh, and set up our own JCR graduate scheme, uh, not graduate scheme, graduate, um, graduate contact database. In this way, we can get, uh, get these graduates JCR newsletter if they wish, so they can stay involved, stay up to date, uh, and also we can organise reunions. So in five years' time when you leave, you can come back, catch up, reminisce, um, complain about how the freshers don't drink as much as you did in your first year. <laughs> Anything you want to do, it really will make it feel a lot more like a community and get everyone a lot more together. Um, I also want to hold back a couple of tickets for major events like the Winter Ball for alumni. Um, it wouldn't disadvantage any current students. I mean, the event itself doesn't necessarily sell out. Um, and they've got a lot, of add, lot to add to these big events in terms of traditions, uh, songs, etc. Um, yeah, so CUS wouldn't just be the community for three years. In the community across generations. Um, there's a lot of potential here. We've got a very large student base, we've got two sites, we've got a lot of facilities. Um, although I really want to foster a feeling of ownership, community and encourage involvement, um, I want to, people, when they're involved, to really be determined to be the best they can be. I don't want any excuse of it being half arsed just because it's Kelsey. Um, there's no need for it. Um, We've got a great sort of platform to work from this year. A few tweaks I'd like to do. Um, social comedy to do. There's a few individuals in there that do a fantastic job, um, but they need more support. So I'd like to split it into uh, ball com to do with the winter ball, cast day com to do the cast day, and formal com. All will be chaired by individual <coughs> members. Uh, those in turn would be overseen by the social chair. Um, this would mean a great opportunity for students to get involved and get stamps on their events. Um, and it would also mean that smaller events, say like Eurovision or Halloween, get a lot more behind them. There's just more people to help. Um, with formal com, I see them doing the, for the formal ticketing system. I don't think it's quite fair at the moment. Um, something like a ballot system like we have for the winter ball. Um, I also want to make them more varied. The principal's already talking of a ladies' formal, so ladies come. Uh, they're the only ones that are allowed to buy tickets and they have to invite their male guests, but why not have like a Mad Hatter's formal, so every course you have to change your table, or uh, an informal formal like they do on the hill, just have everyone come into fancy dress. Um, I want formals to be exciting, everyone to be really enthusiastic about it. Um, with sports and societies, I like when they submit a budget, they all have aims. Um, this gives something to aspire to, uh, and really focus a club on its uh, achievements for the year. Um, it can also be used to justify more resources from the JCR. Um, I'd like to publicise events in, in, a, in a calendar for the freshers. Um, it wasn't possible this year just due to timing, but it can definitely be a, a thing for next year. So when you come, you know you've got the winter ball on this day, uh, the feast, um, everything like that. Um, I also want to do weekly updates throughout the year. So if you've got, uh, if you've got a hockey final set against Hatfield and cuts are set to smash them, you can really publicise an event like that, get the whole college down there to get behind them. <coughs> team will do better and everyone will have a better time. Um, yeah. So importantly I want to build on the successes of this year also. Uh, Freshers Week was a great success. Um, I'd love to keep mini Freshers Week for international and post grads with their own rep team. Uh, I want to keep the mixture of events. Uh, so you've got the very loud party events and the getting to know each other ones which are a little bit quieter. Um, things I just want to tweak. So rep teams get a little bit of a night off. They managed to keep their enthusiasm and their excitement up all the week. Um, so you've got a minute left. Uh, individually, individual night wristbands. So postgrads can come in and take part. Maybe not for the whole thing, but if they want to buy just one night, they can. Um, and I also want to launch a rep video. So before freshers come, you can come and you can see all the reps that are taking part, all the exec. Um, you see all of Durham, uh, and it's just a good way to get everyone excited and enthusiastic about it. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'd love to be here for another year. I've had a really great time here. I feel I can contribute a lot. Um, so, yeah, that's just it. Uh, please vote for me as real president. Thank you. Now, nobody is more practically prepared for the role of president than Serge. Serge has great insights into the running of all areas of the society. Having become a senior member of the bar in his first year, helping out with deliveries and acting as a value member of the bar for the last three years, 
He is well aware of the running of the bar and the jobs it entails, while still maintaining an excellent academic record. Having also set up Casserial Ale and Cider, he also understands the processes involved in setting up and running a society. He has sat on the exec for his last two and most important years of his university life, taking on the role of welfare officer months before he needed to in his second year, and helping to raise the profile of welfare within the society massively. I think everybody will agree that while Serge was welfare officer, he made sure we all knew that we had someone to talk to. He implicated a number of practical changes, helping with the introduction of resident warden roles on the Bailey and at Parsons Field, a drastic change that would have involved much persuading for the university to invest in. This shows he can get things done, he follows through on his promises. It's so important for me for you, that you all understand that he has gone above and beyond in every single post he has held here. As social chair, he has helped me with social committee wherever possible, putting in hours the day before winter ball and on the day itself, and um, playing an active role in the organisation of the feast, which is this March. I have no doubt that his generosity extends to all members of the executive committee and staff. He also has a solid knowledge of the running of university-wide student politics, <coughs> having sat on welfare calls for DSU, being a junior DSU rep, and helping answer emails for president of 2011, Dicko, meaning he knows what is possible and he knows what can be achieved. On a personal level, Serge is my college dad and has always been there for me. I remember in my first year he would walk down to Brooks just for a cup of tea to get to know me. At the time I thought this was special treatment, but it turns out he acts like this to everybody, staff and students included. He gets on with everybody around every corner and I can never hear him complain. Most importantly, he knows how to have fun. I've never known anybody to work hard and play hard to such a great extent. Serge is tenacious, determined, confident and incredibly competent. I support every single one of his ideas for next year and I'm certain that you will too. I have no doubt he will fulfil the role of president better than anybody has before. Sorry. <laughs>